One MCP server completely changed how I use GitHub Copilot. I can do deep documentation research, code based symbol extraction, AST pattern matching, abstract syntax tree, and more. So let me show you how you can set this up and exactly what you can do with it. So the MCP server I'm going to be using is kit dev for MCP. Here's the home page for it. And we're going to run a command similar to this to get the MCP server installed with Copilot. Now, the first thing I'll have to do, though, is install kit dev. And I can do that with the following. I can run UV. So you will need the UV tool installed on your machine. Tool install cased kit. Now that'll install it. And then from here, we can run to Copilot. And I'm going to be using the Copilot CLI, but you could also use this with the chat UI version in VS Code if you'd like. I'm going to trust my code base I'm in. And then I'm going to run MCP show. And you're going to notice there's no MCP servers configured. All right, let's make one. So I'm going to do add. I'm going to name this kit dev MCP. I'm going to tab down. And then the command I'm going to run is a UVX command. UVX from case kit, and then I'm going to give it the name I just gave it earlier, kit dev MCP. I can hit control S to save. Let's do that. And then I'm just going to escape to get out. Now, if we do MCP show, notice kit dev is available and I have that UVX command. It's all configured. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just use it to actually get some information that normally the context for this would be a little tricky. So let me just grab a prompt here. And I'm going to say extract all the symbols from this repository. And let's just add use kit dev. I'm going to say yes, let's approve the kit dev MCP tools. All right, so it's extracted our symbols. It ran a bunch of tools and commands. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is have it go out to a remote repository. I'm going to say, hey, find me the entry point for this repo. Now, this is kind of a trick question because this is an agent plus MCP repo that has multiple options. So let's run it. All right, so it returned, but it tells me there's multiple entry points because it depends. This one has multiple languages in it. Now, the last one I'm going to run is the following. I'm going to say find all async functions in this code base using AST search. So let's run this one now. So if I go back up, you'll notice it ran grep AST, not just grep, where it'll find things in comments and find things you really don't want sometimes. This actually ran a special tool. And then it gave me a nice summary and it broke it down by the different options that are available in that repo I showed you a little bit earlier. Now, if you're not using GitHub Copilot yet, you're missing out, grab it from the link that you'll see here, add kit dev as I showed you, and try this out for yourself.